to meet you in there. I've only just finished my last valuation. You know you've got to dress up. I know. Well, who are you coming at? The Office Clown Award goes to right. Rayleigh Red Delaney. And I stumble to the kitchen. You don't really fit in, in any office, Fred. You're a mess. Yawn and stretch and try to come to life. You're fired. You can't fire me because I quit! Oh. You got fired and quit. But in the same day, well, that's new. What are you going to do? How long have you been performing Dolly? No. No, it's just an unfortunate mistake. We're casting for a new Dolly at the moment. Let's see what you're made of. She's bright. She's bubbly. <laughs> Nipples to the sky. Three bras, elves and drink. Oh, wow. Makeup's a little extra. Thank you very much. You strike me as someone who doesn't stick to things. This is where I belong. This is what I'm supposed to be doing. Baby, I'm burning out of control. Yeah, you're weird enough. I'll give you that. So I'm going to throw you a bone. Show me what you're made of. <laughs> Not too bad. What a way to make a living. There are two kinds of people. Those who know how to have a good time. on some wild sequined goose chase that isn't going to end well. Farting. I'm farting too, constantly. What? I said starting. Oh, God. Mum, I'm not an idiot, and it will end well if it kills me. Dolly, I'm dead. <laughs> what happened? It's fine. Hang it's on. not fine. It's you fine. look crazy, okay. but just get it together, OK? OK. okay? okay. Be Dolly. Working time to fight. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of The Breeze, Breezeway Productions' The Breeze. We bring you the latest in independent films and film festival news, and we're happy to bring you a new film that we're uh, excited to talk about called Seriously Red. Uh, we have uh, Crew Boylan here with us today to talk more about it. How are you, Crew? I'm well, thanks. Nice to Nice to chat. Nice to talk, speak with you as well. Thank you for zooming in from Australia uh, to talk about the film. So uh, tell our audience a little about Seriously Red. Uh, Seriously Red is about a girl obsessed with Dolly Parton. And to figure out who she is, she first has to become somebody else. Oh, very nice. Uh, and what was your position on the film? So I wrote it um, and I'm the star um, in the film. Very I nice. play a character called Red huh? or Raylene Delaney, but she's got red curly hair and so her name's Red. And um, she just doesn't fit into a nine to five job. And um, she goes on a journey to of self-discovery. Interesting. OK, so since you wrote the project and that it has an involvement to do with the character that's obsessed with Dolly Parton, where did Dolly Parton and you start your relationship uh, before you started going into this film? Well, do you know what? It started when my mum showed me the movie Still Magnolias. Sure, classic. That's where it started. It, yeah, uh, well, I was talking about it recently. So many of those characters sort of, yeah, kind of left a mark on me, really. And Dolly Parton in that film is sort of, she has the beauty salon that brings all the ladies together. Um, and so when I was doing a play in Sydney and I was worried about what job I was going to do next. And I was auditioning and I wasn't getting the parts. And my dad would always sort of said to his daughters, you go out there, girls, you be successful. You do what you want. You, you know, pave your own way. And I was like, I don't feel like I'm successful. I, I don't know what that is and what that looks like. And so that's when I started to write. I had written for theater before. Mm -hmm. I started to write about success and what that meant. And I very quickly realized that for me, Dolly Parton is the epitome of success. For me, she has, she looks like, she looks like the way she does, but she is, you know, she's got a very old saying called saying, uh, a saying that um, I look like a woman, but I think like a man. And I, although that's a little dated now, you don't have to look like a man. You don't have to think like a man. You can look like a woman and think like a woman. But um, <laughs> But that was like quite a few years ago, you know, 10 years ago when I started writing this and that stuck with me. I also her saying, um, you got to work a dream. You got to put feet and wings on it. 
And that's the first quote I stuck up in my one bedroom flat. When I started writing this going, right, I've got to work my own dream. I've got to put my own feet and wings on my dream. I've got no money, but let me just try and figure this out. What is success? And if I was like, if I was, so I was like, I'll just become Dolly Parton. I mean, that's, it was very quick transformation of going, I'll write myself a part where I can become Dolly Parton. Sure. Maybe then I'll figure out what it is and what it feels yeah. like. Uh, Dolly is, is an absolute icon. Uh, you know, she's been, you know, treasured by so many over the years. Uh, we were fortunate enough to speak with her at the movie guide awards many years back and that we asked her how she was able to hold down such a, a consistent, amazing reputation. And she says, give God all the glory. And uh, I'll never forget that. She's extremely re uh, religious and devoted towards her faith. Um, did you have any aspects of that while you were writing the script towards it as well? Um, I, I, no, I didn't. I wasn't as conscious and, and thinking about my religion or my faith in terms of weaving it into the story. Mm -hmm. um, however, I do have... I do have faith and but I'm not one particular religion or um but it's um okay. I really I really felt that when I met her I got to meet her in Austin Texas when our film was um had its world premiere at South by Southwest and I really felt that when I was around her and I did have kind of a it felt like a like a divine dolly intervention or I don't know who was doing who was doing the divining, but um, hmm. um, I really had like a, a strong pull of when I was talking to Dolly, I was like, oh my gosh, she just does joy. I'm just, I can do joy. I just do joy in terms of what I'm going to do next and what project I'm going to work on next. I'm just going to work on my own projects and I'm just going to keep joy in mind because um, that's what I can do. And that's exactly what Dolly does. Yeah. And I, I love that about her. She's just so positive and so giving and humble and kind. And yes, yeah, certainly meeting her was no disappointment. She, I, I left her euphoric. I yeah. really did. Yeah, I, th I think that it's awesome that you have a film that goes about this concept. Uh, I believe personally that she is a role model. So to make a film about a character that becomes her in the film is something inspiring for another person to see, reaffirming that the message that she is giving to audiences is truly one of uh, positivity and hope and goodness. And uh, I think that Seriously Red sounds like a, a good film to definitely check out. Uh, do you know when and where people can go to see it or find out more about it? Yeah, so it's in it's in cinemas in selected cin cinemas um, February tenth, and then on uh, VOD on the same day. <laughs> awesome. Well, uh, we will showcase all of those links below so our audience is able to check it out. So seriously, Red, uh, hope that everyone is able to check it out. And Crew Boylan, I want to thank you for coming on the show to talk about the film Seriously Red. My pleasure. Thanks for having me from Bronte all the way over there. <laughs>